Hey, this is Daniel Norton. I'm here in my studio in New York City. And in this video, we're gonna talk about using color to add depth to your images. So I've got my friend Erica coming. We're going to play around a little bit with the kind of warm, cool, or orange teal is sometimes referred to that's used in cinematic lighting. A lot of times they're gonna uh, amplify or enhance that using post-processing LUTs and things like that, if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, we're gonna get it in camera because uh, for a still photographer, I think that's just the easiest way to do it. If you needed to go in and post and tweak this out, you certainly could do it, but the closer you get to where you wanna be in camera, it's gonna make it a lot easier for you. So what we're essentially gonna do is create two zones of light. We're gonna light the background with a nice even light against a sheet of paper, and I'm gonna throw teal on that, a nice cool teal light. Then for my key light, I'm going to add a little bit of straw. The straw is gonna amplify the warmth in Erica's skin. Erica already has a very warm skin tone. Whatever gel you use is really gonna matter depending on the person, right? Because she's already got a kind of a tan going, she's already got a warm skin, I think straw is appropriate for her. Uh, for me, straw probably wouldn't work, it'd be too, it'd be too yellow. So uh, one thing I recommend you do is you get different types of warming gels, not just CTOs, and experiment with different skin types until you get a feel for what works with who. Once we get the warm gel in there, we'll have that nice separation and depth. And then we're gonna add a little bit of a neutral light as a, as a kicker or a separator for her hair. Just because if you don't have something neutral on the shot, there won't be any place for your eye to kind of settle. So I like to usually have something neutral, something warm, something cool. Or if you wanna go really extreme, you could do you know any kind of complimentary color, but warm cool is kind of a good way to do it. And generally for a portrait, the warm on the skin is generally gonna be better, but you certainly could play around with the idea of cool light on the skin and warm behind. Okay, so before we get Erica on set, um, I got the lights more or less in place and I wanna go over them with you. Before I do that though, I'm about to put this warming gel onto my Octobox. Actually, I have two gels. One tip when you're gonna do warming and cooling on skin tone is to get a gel that's a little bit less saturated than you think you need and then double it if need be. That way you're not stuck with oversaturation. Uh, and you can kind of see, this is gonna be subtle in front of the lens here. Uh, you can see like in the whites of the soft boxes and stuff, you're just getting that bit of warm. We don't want it to look super, super orange. We don't want it to look, it, it should look almost real, right? It shouldn't feel super artificial. And we just wanna have that kind of glow of warmth. We don't want it to be really orange. All right, so let me just show you the lights here. So I've got a strip bank here, which is gonna be a separation light. She'll be standing here. It's just gonna give a nice kind of glow over her hair. This is gonna have no gel on it. You wanna have something neutral in your shot. If you don't, there'll be no place for the eye to like lock onto. For our key light though, which I'm gonna put that warming gel on, I've got my three foot octa, as I've mentioned before, that's one of my favorite lights to use for a single portrait. Uh, it's got a grid on it. We wanna keep all of our light off the background. We've talked about this before. If I have a light that's bouncing all around the studio, it's going to affect the saturation of our background gel. We don't want that, so we're going to uh, use a grid on this one. On top of that, I've got two V-flats, right? You can see them here. They're basically my, uh, they're gonna serve two purposes. One is gonna keep the cool light, the teal light off of Erica. The other one is gonna be to spread out the light from the B1Xs that they're taped to so that we get even wash of light over the background, which is dove gray. So I've got a simple gray background, the teal gels, I've got two of them. They're gonna basically fill the V-flats with light. It's gonna spread back across and give us a nice even wash. Okay, so I have Erica here. And we're gonna play around with, like I said, color. Using color to separate our subject from the background, kind of add some contrast. This is kind of like a, a more subtle way to do things. You can definitely blast them with light, use shell, dip the field, put stuff behind it. There's lots of ways to, to separate people. We've, we've done this in other videos, but color is a really powerful way. And you see it done a lot in, in cinema, actually. So this is a, in cinema, they often call this type of uh, lighting orange and teal, because they use orange and teal, right, those are the colors. So we're not using exactly orange and teal, but you can use, basically you wanna use uh, colors that accent each other. So I mean, it could be red and green, right, because those are opposite colors, but we don't probably wanna light you up with the red light. It's not that kind of shoot. Um, so I did ask her to be relatively neutral. You know, this has got like a little pinky red in it, but that's, you know, fun. And Eric already has kind of a warm skin tone. So I didn't put too much of a warming gel on there because I don't want it to feel overly orange because it's not like a super dramatic shot, right? We're just a simple kind of portrait. The background's just lit evenly. 
You can do it any number of ways. I figured even would be a best way to show this for you guys. And let me walk through how we're setting this whole thing up, including how we're gonna add a neutral light, and I'll show you how that works. So let me, I'm gonna you step off for one second. We'll do the background first. So I've got my background in the C group. Uh, I've got two Profoto B1Xs back there. Each one has a, uh, a teal gel on it from Roscoe. And uh, I'm gonna just put it in TTL. So I'm just gonna fill the frame with my background and I'm going to make a shot. And again, TTL will give you the shot that the, the exposure it thinks is correct. Okay, so this looks nice. It's not completely even. I could get it more even, but I kind of like to have a little bit of drama back there. Essentially, that's just a matter of adjusting the lights. This is the TTL exposure. It's what it believes to be the correct exposure. If I want it darker or lighter, that's easy enough to do. I want to do this now. It's the simplest way to do it. I'm gonna switch to manual and I'm going to just uh, lower the light, let's say one stop, just to show you what the difference would be. Now I do have the other lights going, but none of them are affecting the light in the background. So not worried too much about that. So I can set that, I can pick whatever teal I like. Actually, I'm kind of liking the lighter one now. What do you like? Light? I like it. Yeah, lighter, okay. So we'll go back to where we were. Now what, again, when you're using TTL, what we want to be wary of is if I uh, drop Eric in, which I'm about to do now, it might adjust again. So I'm actually gonna turn this light off until I get everything else set. I'm gonna go back to TTL. I'm gonna turn off this background light because I want this uh, separation light binder, which is in a strip. And I'm gonna start just with the key light, which is a three foot octo from Profoto with a grid. I have a grid because I don't want any of this light to hit the background. So we'll frame this up and see this will be a little bit dramatic. And again, we have a warming gel on here. So we can see she's got this nice warm light on her. That looks really nice. Yeah, it's almost, again, TTL, not bad, right? Just to give us a little bit more kind of structure and separation, I'm gonna put on a back uh, a hair light or separation light. That's right here in a strip box. Again, I'm still in TTL. I'm gonna leave it. Frame it up similarly. Boom. And there we go. So this is cool in and of itself, right? We have a nice dark background. She kind of fades into it. You could certainly do that. But to kind of bring everything together, I'm gonna turn that background light back on, background light sessions, there's two of them back there. And now we're gonna get a nice splash of color. And we can see how she pops. Now, as always, is when we make our final adjustment, right? Because now compared to that background, she looks a bit on the dark side, right? So we could either darken the background, which I kind of, I kind of like that. I know we said we'd like the lighter teal, but I think I might go for a dark vibe here. I'm gonna darken the background, two stops. And let's see if we can get like a dark, dark blue back there. Yeah, so now we're getting this overall kind of dark vibe going on. Um, I think I wanna turn everything up now by three tenths of a stop. Frame it up. There we go. Now we have an exposure that I think looks really nice. I would say though, this is a little bit bright on our hair. So again, I can adjust each of these lights independently if I'd like. I'm gonna dial that one down half a stop. And all this is just a matter of getting it the way we like it. Yeah, that looks nice. Everything's balanced, everything looks good. I might give just a smidge of light on the, I'm going to third up on the key light. And again, I'm in manual now, so I'm just adjusting each individual light as I go. Yeah, that seems to be the right exposure for me. You see it's got this warmth here, right? You don't want to go too far in the, in the in the orange because if you do, then the inside of her eyes will start to look really, really orange, which you don't really want, right? And also this neutral light is really helping us kind of set the vibe, right? If you didn't have that neutral there, then essentially it would just all be orange on her and look a little bit murky. This is going to give us the ability to kind of pop her out a little bit with this nice kind of uh, bright uh, white outfit, we still have this dark kind of moody look. Now, just because we can, let's, I'm gonna take everything and I'm gonna bring it all up a stop and a half. So we're gonna do like a bright, I think that we should be able to handle that. We'll see, I, I might overexpose her here. We're gonna find out. Good. Yeah. So here we've got this like bright beachy look, right? Very catalog, right? Very kind of moody, like, uh, Moody, moody shot, very kind of clean, uh, pretty shot, right? We could go either way. They're both essentially the same um, setting. It's just a matter of the adjustment. And if you didn't want to change your lights, if you didn't have such a, the speed to do it with the controller on top, you could also adjust obviously the camera. 
So what do we like? Right? Oh, I mean, yeah. it's different vibes. Cool. There are there are different vibes. Let's shoot a couple bright ones first. Okay. So let me get okay again. <laughs> good. I'm using the 85 millimeter lens, guys, by the way. This gives me enough nice framing on her because I'm working in kind of a tight space. So I don't want too long of a lens. But I also need to uh, I only have a little narrow space to work to not get the background, like the V-flats and stuff in the shot. Good. So a wider lens would be hard for me to pull that off. Okay, now let's go back down to our darkness. And get some, get some dark mood going on. Those first shots were like the beginning of the horror movie and now this is when we're getting into the intensity of it. Good, good, good. Back up a little bit more. Good. Good. One more. Good. Yeah. Yeah, see, I think you like the dark. Alright. Let me I always have to do horizontal for me. Because I like my horizontals. Gotta make a, a thumbnail. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright. Alright, and let's do that and then let's do a lighter thumbnail as well. I mean, I got you guys here. Might as well do a thumbnail. <laughs> Bam. So we've got the two, the two looks. And both of them have the same thing going for them, which is this kind of color separation, right? Where we can use color to pull her, uh, you know, out of the shot or into it, you know, and kind of sink in depending on the color you're using. So cools work really well against warms, obviously. Uh, uh, another kind of simple way to do this, if you don't have a lot of gels and you just want to experiment, is you can use uh, a lot of flashes will come with a tungsten balance adjustment, right? You can put a, a tungsten gel onto your, uh, your, your main light and then just keep your, uh, your other lights in daylight and you'll have that contrast. The only issue there is if you go with tungsten versus like straw or something, it might start looking a little too orange because you gotta really play around with it a little bit, but it's always worth messing with. Um, but this is the important part, right? Now we have to see if Erica likes them, right? Right, because if Erica does not like them, then I have to shoot more pictures and then we will cut this part of the video. <laughs> all right, let's take a look. Let me turn this on. And all I do is talk about the pictures? Yeah, you can do anything you like. Okay. You can do a monologue. Let me know if you like them. What for for choice? Which conquest brings ye home? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so do I just go? Yeah, take a look. What do you think? They're beautiful. These are super fun. See, this doesn't feel not catalog, but it's, yeah. you know, more like editorial vibes. Yeah, this is great. Yeah. Whereas, like, this is really cute. Like, yeah. Gap vibes, you know? Yeah. Love it. What do you like better? Moody? Oh, you like Moody. I like Moody. I'm a Moody, I'm a moody person. Always gonna Can't you like tell. Moody. I like them both. Yes. Dude, it's like Hannah Montana, best of both worlds. That's know? right. Hannah Montana, one of my favorite uh, artists. She's in the top 10 for sure. Cute. <laughs> All right, excellent. So, I, I will put, <laughs> she put two of the same. <laughs> She's like, I like both versions. She puts them in the same. I don't know how to work the buttons at all. <laughs> so, so that's it guys, play around with color. Think about uh, contrasting colors, right? If you just put all warm on something, it's going to blend in and be flat. If you use like warm, cool combos, you can separate people out, play around a bit. And again, do the other, do the opposite. Put blue on the person and warm on the background. That also works. I will put Erica's information in the description so you guys can follow her. Be sure to follow me, Daniel Norton, photographer. And I'll see you next time on set. Hey everyone, it's me again. Thank you so much for watching. We really hope you learned a thing or two. If you like this video and you want to see some more, take a look around. Make sure you're subscribed to Adorama TV and ring the bell so you get all the notifications so you'll never miss us. We'll see you next time.